Whether it is time to spring forward for daylight savings time or to fall back to standard time, it is always a good time to change the batteries and check the functionality of our smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors. Pressing the button in the middle of your alarm is a good place to start. The rule of thumb is that smoke alarms should be replaced at least every 10 years and carbon monoxide detectors every 5. There are combo detectors that do both jobs. Detectors are designed to emit a beeping chirp when their batteries are running low. When you hear that sound, change the batteries immediately. Many fire deaths have occurred because someone did not take the time to change their detector's batteries or even uninstall them without replacing them when they heard them chirp. Installing smoke and carbon monoxide detectors is so important and as easy as can be, so let's walk through the steps that can help to save lives. First, take the back off of the detector and locate the holes where the screws will be going. Insert the batteries and test it. Pick a spot on the upper wall or ceiling where the detector will be likely to detect any smoke or carbon monoxide that enters the house. Make sure there is nothing to obstruct its sensors or hinder your ability to reach it when it needs service or testing. Line it up exactly where you want it and mark the holes with a pencil. This is where you will drill the small pilot holes for your screws. When the holes are drilled, place the back of the detector against the area you have chosen to put it and drill your screws. Place the front of the detector onto the base, adjusting it until it is perfect. Hit the button in the middle of the faceplate and your detector should beep, telling you that you and your family and neighbors will be safe in the knowledge that any smoke or carbon monoxide leaks will be detected and a warning will sound. Make sure your family has an emergency evacuation plan in place in case of a disaster.